All right, kids, hop in. It's time to go. Oh, Mom! Hey! Mom! Mom! Put the bike away, Oscar. Mom, can I take no. my bike? No, put it away. Oh, Mom. Mom! Where are my headphones? Mom! <sighs> can I take Fred? Fred's like my best friend. Yes, I take Fred. Yeah, hun, I did. Um, <sighs> Kimmy, what is taking you so long? I had to say goodbye to Tank. Bye, Tank. I'll miss you. It's not a toy. This is a 1958 split window Volkswagen combi van. Oh, Only ever three owners. Get in the back. Ooh. Get it, Dad. Give me the steering wheel. Off to Nance. Off to Nance. Oh, oh Nance. suck with these guys the whole way. Jeez. How long is the drive again? It's 11 hours and we're doing it over two days. Two days? Yeah. I thought we agreed just, just one shot. No, not all the way to Sydney. Can't we just stay home, Mum? No, no, you can't. This is Nan's one time of year. Yeah. Christmas dinner at Nan's. She can't drive anymore, and she loves getting to see you kids. Oh, I guess it is an easy 50 bucks. Yeah, well, I love Sydney. It's so fun. And Nan's place is huge, and she has a pool. And she always has ice cream! And ginger beers! Dad, how much longer? Uh, about 10 hours and 58 minutes. Uh, how about we turn on the radio? Dave, did you pack the panel off? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Mom, Dad, I'm are we, there, are we there yet? Kimmy, read a book uh. or... Look for number plates, or have a snack out of the esky. Just don't tell me that I'm you're bored, or ask are me, are yet? we there yet? Oz! Don't make me come back there! Hey, wait, 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 you just kicked something. What's this? Is it chocolate? Hey. Wait, it's a book or something. Give me that. Whoa! <gasps> oh, is that an angel? Wow. Oh, it's a Bible. What's oh. a Bible? Oh, uh, it's a book about... God and church and stuff. Before Oz was born, we all went to church a little bit. Oh, what's church? Uh, I think it's this place where, you know, people go and they sing and dance. Only if it's your mom's church. I and want they, to go uh, to church. They learn about God from this book. Hmm. Do you want to go to church, Fred? Yeah, he wants to go to church. So, wait. So, if a church is where Christians go, Dad, are we Christians? Um, well, I mean... Church, church, I mean, Christians read the Bible. Huh. Whoa, that's okay. a big book. All right, I want to see what it says. All right, let's open it up. In the beginning, God... Kimmy, Kimmy, quietly, quietly. You're always telling me to be quiet. Hey, i got a great idea. Let's all sing a song. Oh, oh, I know a good song, Mum. Yeah? Come, come, right. come. Let's go. Right, Can you Mom, sing? Come and sing with us. Dashing Can you sing with us? In a rusty old and youth, kicking up the dust. Esky in the booth, tell me by my side, singing Christmas songs. It's summertime and I'm in my singlet shorts and oh, oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Christmas in Australia on a scorching summer's day. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, Christmas time with you. Oh, what fun it is to ride a rusty holiday. Petra in real quick. Okay, um, hey, on. who wants some snacks? Oh, me. Yeah, me, yeah, me, me, right. me, me. I'll mom, go with you, Mum. Can I get to get away snacks, from these please? two? Yes. No worries. Thank hey, you. cashews. Ooh, don't forget the cashews. No, it's not preschool. Ah, hey, hey, Dad, it. Dad, Dad, Dad. Hey, Dad. Snacks. Hey, Dad. Dad. Kill dad. Kill me. What? So, I've been reading the Bible, right? And yeah, guess yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. Guess no, guess what? There's some people in here and... Naked. That's my life. <gasps> yeah, no, really. So there's this guy, Adam, and this lady, Eve, and God made them, and he made this whole world for them to live in, but then he gave them 
one rule and there was a tree with fruit that they couldn't eat. But then, dad, dad, dad. Yeah. Yes, Kimmy. Okay, so there's this talking snake, right? Talking snake, yeah, right. No, I'm serious. Speaking of, who wants some snakes? <gasps> me, 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 me. Oh, Sam, can I have a snake? Can I have a snake? Not oh, until you get out of my geez. seat, mate. Go on, get out, get out. Come on. Okay. Okay, okay, so. There's this talking <laughs> snake, right? Get out of the back. And... Thanks. Sam. Oh, thanks, Mum. You're welcome. So boys. there's this talking snake, and then the snake yes. convinces Adam, Adam and Eve to not listen to God and to eat the fruit. And then, because they didn't listen to God, this is what God said. The Lord God then asked the woman, what have you done? The snake tricked me, she answered, and I ate some of that fruit. So the Lord God said to the snake, because of what you have done, you and this woman will hate each other. Your descendants and hers will always be enemies. One of hers will strike you on the head and you will strike him on the heel. I knew I always hated snakes. So, what do you think that means? Well, a descendant, someone's child or grandchild or great-grandchild, you know. Oh, so, okay. Kimmy, you, me and Oz here are mum and dad's descendants. Yeah, kind of like a family tree. Yeah, yeah. and um, I'm, I'm Nan's descendant. And so are you kids, but not mum's. No. Okay. I think what God was trying to tell us is one of Adam and Eve's descendants was going to defeat the snake when it crushes it on its, on its head. What? Ooh, I love snakes. I, I wonder if Nan has snakes at her place. Oh, I hope not. So, what about this guy who's going to crush snakes? Like, what's that all about? Well, I think we're going to have to read to the end of the book, but I'm pretty sure he's going to be a pretty super saviour. <gasps> oh, I know another song. I'm going to sing a <laughs> Save the day, take our sins away. Who can rescue us with mighty power? Super Savior to the rescue, Super Savior, mighty save. Look, look, here comes Jesus up, up, and out of the grave. Super Savior to the rescue, Super Savior. He's a snake! Snake smasher! He's the mighty super savior, Jesus!
Yeah, you'll get your turn too. You'll get your turn. It's just a big banana. All right, family, everyone, everyone come in. Let's, I need a group shot. Kimmy, put shot. that Bible down and come and get in the picture. All right, got it. Nice. All right, go, 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 go. Everyone come in. Quick, quick, quick. This is just a short lunch stop. All right, that's, that's looking good. All right, all right, all right. All right, come on, come on. All right, I think this, this is the best one. Oz, Oz, put those bunny ears down. All right, on, on three, two, one, we're going to say big banana. You ready? Three. Big, big banana. banana. All right, nice, nice. Good job. That looks good. Yeah, that's one for the trophy room. Um, Dad, yeah. I'm hungry. Okay. Yeah, Mum, what, what snacks you got? Mum, I'm hungry. Can I have some chips? Oh, I've got these for you. <sighs> yeah. Have you got a juice? I'm hungry. Oh, Please, you got some vinegar Dad. chips in there? Yeah, hold on. Oh, yes, Mum. You got any Nutella? Boom. Oh, muesli bar. So we okay. got water, water. All right, check this one. Oh, Thanks, juice. Hey, yes. Mum. Thanks, Mum. Yeah. You know, there's some pretty cool people in this Bible. Really? Sure they yeah. are. No. I'm serious, Sam. Sam, so, look at this book. There's this kid. So cool. When he was younger, he killed a giant. Really? You couldn't have done that, Sam. Sure could. No Two hands way. tied behind my back. No. Do it Wait, in my did you say he killed someone? He killed a giant. Wow. I mean, come on. Wow. And then, when he grew up, God made him king over his people. A king? Yeah. Do you think, was, was he a rich king with, like, lots of money? Hey, 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 Sam. Dad! Dad! He's a gross Kimmy. He's so gross. <laughs> no, Dad. Dad. Yes. Okay, no. All right. So. Yes, yes. Like, I don't know if he was a rich king, but he was a great king. And because he was such a great king, God promised him and rewarded him by one day, one of his descendants, like you were talking about, mum, one of his great, 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 great grandkids was going to be a king that rules forever. Cool. Look, have a look. This is what it says. <clears throat> This is what God said to David. I promise that you and the rest of your family line will be kings. I'll choose one of your sons to be king when you reach the end of your life. I'll make him a strong ruler. He will rule the kingdom that will last forever. I will be his father and he will be my son. Is that it? That kind of sucks. What? Why? Well... Why wouldn't God just make David the forever king and instead of one of his sons? I don't know. You know, I think it's because God was waiting for just the right time to send the forever king. Well, if I was David, I'd be pretty annoyed. I mean, you'd have to wait and wait and wait, and who knows how long you'd have to wait. So, but actually, I don't think David really worried about waiting. Have a look. I was reading this part. And this is what David prayed to God. This is what he said. With all my heart, I wait for the Lord to help me. I put my hope in his word. I wait for the Lord to help me. Sounds like David wasn't really bothered to wait on God. So God's people are still waiting for this king. Hmm? Well, maybe we're going to have to read to the end of the book and find I wonder, out. I wonder how long they had to wait for. Yeah. Huh. Well, it's, it's time to go, guys. we are going to go on the road. Let's go. Dad, I have to wee. Dad, I'm busting. Yeah, and I told you, you're just gonna have to wait. Dad, I'm still busting. Yeah, look, I mean. And that we're, in, we're literally in the woods. Oh, we're in the bush. I need to wee. There's so many trees. Hey, what you have for snakes, Ozzy? What you have for snakes? Oh, we're finally here. Oh, I can't wait. I love camping. This is so exciting. Let's set up camp, Mom, Dad. I can't wait for Christmas. We're coming. Tisa, I don't know about you, but 
I love this time of year. Me too. I love the lights, the trees, the giant parades. I love the joy I feel. Tyson, I don't know about you, but I love this time of year. Me too. I love the lights, the trees, the giant parades. I love the joy I feel around the holidays. Oh, it's Kevin Yeah, Kimmy. I love this. Zach and I help. Songs of I got the Savior's on. birth. Can't wait for Christmas. Can't wait for Christmas. I love the way Main Street looks at night. I love the sparkle that I see in everybody's eyes. The play ratio shows take us back in time. And then we watch Elf at a minimum twice. Can't wait for Christmas. Can't wait for Christmas I love snow days We head to the hill Pile three on a saucer You can bet on a spill Stacking gloves on the first At the end of the day And as we sit by the fire Tell me who would you say Can't wait for Christmas My phone battery died. No, it didn't. It's on 40%, you liar. Hey, give me that. All right, I guess I couldn't let Kimmy have all the fun. And I did kind of want to know a little bit more about what this promised king was going to be like. So did you find out anything about him? Has he come yet? Well, not yet, but I did learn a little bit more can about this promised king. Please? See, in this book, there's this guy called Isaiah. He's pretty cool. His job was to hear what God was saying and to tell people about it. Cool. Anyway, one day God to told Isaiah more about this promised king, what he was going to be like, what he was going to do. Here, listen to this, Mum. It says, A child will be born to us. A son will be given to us. He will rule over us, and he will be called Wonderful Advisor and Mighty God. He will be called Father who lives forever and bring, pin, bleh, Prince <laughs> who brings peace. Shut up, Oz. There will be no limit to how great his power is. This Isaiah guy seems pretty cool. So God's people are still waiting for this king? Yes, Ozzy, they're still waiting for the king. But at least we know a little bit more about what he's going to be like. He's going to be a baby, but also somehow God, and he's going to bring people peace. That's cool and all, but... When's this king finally going to come? I'm sick of waiting. Imagine how God's people felt. They had to wait for thousands of years. Yeah, well, now we're still waiting for Christmas at Nan's too. I'm, how much longer, Dad? Relax, relax. I've heard it the whole way. This, this is the last time. I don't want you to ever tell me again how long it's going to take to get to Nan's. You got it? Straighten up. It's five and a half hours. Trouble. We're halfway. But the good news is we've got a lot more time to read to the rest of the book. That's true. <sighs> anyway, kids, I think it's time we went to bed. All right. All right, Mum. Yeah. Night, Mum. Good night, kids. Good night. Night, Dad. Night, Dad. Night, night Mum. Good night, Dad. Night, night, night Kimmy. Night, night Ozzy. Kimmy. Watch out for those snakes. Oh, yeah. Kimmy, do you want a light so you can... <sighs> Thank you. It's starting to get dark here. Oh. i
makes a promise he always pro keeps it okay so tell us more about the king Kimmy okay so uh, so the angel spoke to Mary and said don't be afraid God is pleased with you you will have a son his name will be Jesus he will be great and will be called the son of God most high the Lord God will make him king as his ancestor David was. He will rule the people of Israel forever and his kingdom will never end. See, king, forever, forever king, the one he had promised. Finally, this, this forever king has finally come. I mean, what is he actually going to do when he gets here, though? We've been waiting for ages to hear about him. He's going to be cross snakes, Sam. You know that. I think we're going to need to keep reading through the book and find out. All right, let's do that. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe I have to wear this dorky shirt <laughs> every year. Dad, Dad, look, it's Louis. He's one of my friends. Oh, oh great. Yeah. <laughs> So, wait, are we there yet, Mum? No, Kimmy, not yet. Oh. Hey, check it out, guys. Um, I kept reading from where Kimmy was, was, what she was talking about this morning. Sam's been <laughs> reading the Bible a lot. I know, yeah. weird, right? Anyway, there's this, there's this guy called Simeon who's this really old dude here in the Bible. Is he and, as old as Dad? Oh, easily. I mean, I don't know, it's Watch pretty hard. It. Pretty sure Dad was around when the dinosaurs were. Mm -hmm. Anyway, this old guy, Simeon, he loved God, and he was waiting for God's promises to come true. And the Holy Spirit told Simeon that he wouldn't die before he saw the Lord's Messiah. Messiah? What's a Messiah? 
I think it's that series on Netflix Mom and Dad won't let us watch. Huh? No, no, no. The Messiah is God's promised king. He would come and save the world. Ooh, ooh. Like, Messiah like a superhero? Like... Or like God's forever king? Mate, is Messiah and the promised forever king the same person? Is he the same person as the snake crusher? Could be. I don't know, Kimmy, but it says that one day the Holy Spirit led Simeon, that old guy, into the temple. And that same day, you remember that Lady Mary who was going to have the baby? She brought her baby Jesus into the temple. And Simeon took Jesus in his arms and he praised God. Hey, can and you remember that cute little outfit that we had Kimmy in the first time we took her to church? Mm, nope. Oh. Anyway, listen to what Simeon said. He says, Lord, I'm your servant, and now I can die in peace. Because you've kept your promise to me. With my own eyes, I've seen what you've done to save your people. And people around the world will also see this. That's pretty cool. So, oh, like, so, like the forever king that Nathan promised to David? Yeah, I mean, somehow it's weird. Like, he picked up this baby and he knew for a fact that he was the promised king. Hmm. I wonder what it would have been like for Simeon that day. Wait, wait, wait. So you telling me they, they finally got to meet their king? I want to meet this king. Yeah, I want to meet this king. Speaking of finally, we've finally arrived at Nan's place. So you can put Yay! the Bible down. Yay! Yes. Let's go. Where's Dinner Nan? Time. Nan! I sure her so she has the strong stuff. You mean like a pie? Yeah, like a pie. Oh. Yeah. Oz, the crystal Ozzie, that I'm the wish of Hurry Bonnie up. and Ben. Whoa. Come on, Ozzy! Whoa. We're starving! It's dinner Look, time! Let's Dad. go, let's go, let's Come go! On, Dad, go. I found a bird! Look, he was outside playing! I thought he could come join us for Christmas! It looks no. dead. <gasps> Nana! Hey, Nan! Oh, nice to see you. Hey. Were you outside can, looking for snakes, can, Yeah, Ozzie? I was. I didn't find any snakes, but I found a bird, Mum! The bird needs to go outside. <sighs> and the hat off at the table. Bye, birdie. Fly, fly. <laughs> hey, Nan. Hey, Nan. Hey, Nan, guess what? Guess what? Guess what, Nan? Nan, guess what? <sighs> so, Nan, guess what we found in the combi? We found this really old, dusty Bible. Yeah, it was so dusty. Yeah, we found Dad's old Bible. I don't think he read it very much. So... Oh. So we read this Bible, right? And there were all these cool things that happened. Like we met uh, this, so there was this guy that was gonna be like a snake crusher. And then there was a promise of this king that was gonna rule forever. And then like this lady had a baby. And then there was something about a messiah. Messiah. But you know, there's one thing that really confuses me, Nan, is that it just sort of felt like when we were reading the Bible, people were just waiting around the whole time. I know. Sometimes it's hard to wait for things, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Sometimes it feels like we're always waiting for things. Like waiting for school holidays to start. Like waiting for Aussie to find like snakes so we can eat. Like waiting for Christmas and presents and snakes. Like waiting for these kids to be quiet. <laughs> oh. That'll never happen. <laughs> Maxwell Mason Moore. Every child is a gift of God. Yeah, Dad. Yeah, Dad. Good I'm one, a Dad. gift of God. <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> but if you're waiting for just the right thing to come along, the wait is often worth it. God's people had to wait for the promised saviour to come. They waited a long time for the right person. And at the right time, God sent the person, Jesus, to be the saviour. It was great news. They didn't have to wait anymore. That's exactly what we celebrate at Christmas. That the waiting is over and that God's chosen saviour has come. Okay, maybe, but Nan, why should I care about all of this? Well, the fantastic news for us is that we don't have to wait to become friends with Jesus. Because of Christmas, we know that Jesus has already come to save us from our sins. That means that we don't have to wait one extra day to put our trust in him. Wait, we can do that today. Nan, are you, are you saying that here? Like right now? Like today? Like today today? Yep, that's where, right. Where is he? Well, yeah, so we can put our trust in Jesus today. Yep, 
right now. If you're mm. waiting to put your trust in Jesus, what are you waiting for? Mm. Jesus has already come. Mm. You can be friends with him today. So that sounds awesome, Nan. I definitely want to be friends with Jesus. But how do I do that? I'm glad you asked me, Kimmy. Do you think you could maybe tell us, Nan, how we can become friends with Jesus? I think this Jesus guy sounds kind of cool. I'd love to get to know him more. Yeah, I'd love to tell you all. Today, we heard the story, 6,000 year old story, of how God created man and how eventually he sent his promised saviour to save us all. 45 years ago, I heard a similar story and I gave my life to Jesus. I've had a wonderful life serving him. And I tell you, he crushed a lot of snakes in my life. And he lets me crush snakes now too. So today, how do we do it? What we do is, there's some children here that you already believe. Praise God, you've got faith. You love Jesus. There's some of you here that want to love Jesus. And there's some of you here that, mm -mm, not yet. Well, the ones that love Jesus, good. The ones that are thinking about it, good. We're going to pray in one moment. And the ones that are thinking, mm -mm, not yet, no. Nah. Today, we're going to live by faith. We're going to do it anyway. We're going to pray. Will you let me pray with you? And will you pray with me? Yeah. Thank you. I was waiting for the whole auditorium. I could tell there was a little bit of good. Now we've got the whole lot of you praying. It's an honour to pray with you. This is all we have to do. We have to believe. That's all the Bible says. If you believe in your heart that Jesus is the Son of God, you will be saved. Is that good news? Yes. So thank you, Lord. I thank you for these children and myself and my family. We believe. I want you to declare it in your heart. I believe in the good news that Jesus came and died for my sins. Lord, will you forgive me of my sins? Yes, he does. He says he will in no wise cast anyone out that comes to him and believes. So we're safe when we come to him and we believe. We put our trust in him. If we put our trust in him, he will promise us to care for us and look after us. Okay, so... We thank you for this, Lord. We thank you for these children that are gathered that are putting their faith and trust in you right now. And we thank you, God, that you're faithful to your word, that you promise to save each and every one of us. We thank you for it, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yeah. Amen. They all pray. Thanks, Nan. That was very special. Boys and girls, if you would like to stand to your feet... Quietly, quietly. Now, we are going to sing one, one last song together. Now, most of you will know this. We might have to teach the preppies. But this story that we've been talking about all ends with Jesus. And last year, we got to sing this song together. Glory. To the, do you remember that song that we did? And we're gonna, now we're gonna finish with this song today. And I hope that as you come to Christmas this year, that you can remember that the real reason for Christmas is that God sent his son Jesus so that you could be friends with him. So can you sing that with me and with my family? Yeah, yes, let's awesome. Do it. Let's sing that together. For a little bit of hope, oh come 